Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would to request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSC futures and the MCX futures Okay, talking about the NSE features, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc. with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil, copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital. That is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me, right? So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. All right, listen to this very carefully, guys. Now, everything that is being shown on YouTube will not work for you, okay? In order to know what will work for you, you need to put in a lot of time and effort to know how exactly a particular thing works in the live market. And forget about the live market. Even before you introduce a particular uh, technical, okay, or a particular indicator or oscillator in the live market, you need to make sure that you have done a rigorous backtesting on that particular technical. And only if you see that the backtesting is successful, then you might think of introducing it into the live market, okay, and then trade depending on that particular thing, okay? So you cannot and should not get biased by a particular video and start using that technical on your charts and initiate a trade. You will be stuck and you will be stuck big time, okay? Now, one such thing that is being talked about a lot are the fractals. If I deep dive, dive a bit further, it is nothing but the market structure that we are talking about. Now, what is a fractal? What is a market structure? Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about this very thing. But please note that the discussion will be more on what exactly is a fractal, how do we recognize them on the charts, whether can it be used in intraday trading or not, and in which trading style should fractals be used in. Okay, and going forward, what is the best way or setting that the fractal should have so that they work as expected? Okay, and talking about the market structure, well, it's a huge, huge thing that cannot be explained on any of the YouTube videos, okay? It belongs to a completely different league, to be precise. So as of now, let's leave market structure behind and let's focus only on fractals, okay? So the expectation that I have from this video is that post watching this video, you will know what exactly a fractal is and most importantly, in which type of trading should this be used and in which type of trading it should not be used. Okay, so let me be blunt on this. Even before you use something, it's very important to know whether that thing is meant for you or not. If the thing is meant for you, then of course, you can go ahead and dig deeper to gain more knowledge on that and then you can start using it in your trading. But if the thing is not meant for you, then there is no point in wasting your time on it, right? So please, your first job 
is to recognize what is meant for you and what is not okay and i'm very sure after watching this video you will be in a situation wherein you will be able to decide what you should be involved in and what you should be avoiding okay so let's get on to the first thing what is a fractal so a fractal is a kind of chart pattern that tells us about the possibility of a trend change and normally a fractal is formed by the combination of five candlesticks many traders also consider the combination of three candlesticks but mostly five candlesticks is what is being followed so we will stick to five candlesticks okay so let me do this let me take you all to the charts so that i can explain the complete stuff there okay so that I explain the complete concept there and things will be more easier to understand okay so here we go let me bring in the pencil okay now all the blue triangles you see here and all the red triangles you see here these are the fractal formations okay so whenever a fractal is formed on the chart you will see these kind of blue triangles or red triangles okay now this is just for your visual confirmation so that you know okay this is how a fractal looks like okay and one more thing to uh, inform you here is how are these arrows being created well i'm using a technical indicator which is helping me to uh, which is helping me to find these fractals but in this video i will let you know about that particular uh, indicator and also i will let you know how to find the fractals manually both of them are important because many a times you will see that that particular technical indicator misses some of the fractals which might be important for trading okay so it is always good to know both the things one is using the technical indicator and the second is how to find the fractals manually okay so this is point number one point number two is you might be thinking that man there are too many fractals on this chart so every alternative candle that is here is uh, forming a fractal so how do i trade it where do i go long where do i go short well this is also addressed in the course of the video so please be patient on that i will clear each and every point regarding fractals okay so as i said this is just for your visual confirmation so that you know that whenever you see these kind of uh, blue triangles or red triangles or any color you can change the color as well okay so you can say that okay a fractal has been formed on the chart okay i hope that is clear now now let's move on to the second screen and here as i said sometime earlier that a fractal is created by the combination of five candlesticks so which are the five candlesticks that you need to take into consideration to to confirm that okay a fractal has been created let me explain that okay so as you can see here i have already marked first candle second candle third candle fourth candle and fifth candle so when a fractal is created these are the conditions okay listen to them very carefully the high of the first candle and the high of the second candle should be lower than the high of the third candle the high of the fourth candle and the high of the fifth candle should also be lower than the high of the third candle if you see this kind of formation you know that a fractal has been formed on the chart the fractal signal that you see here will always be created on the third candle okay the fractal signal will always be created on the third candle and when will that be created it will be created after the closure of the fifth candle only after the fifth candle closes if this is the pattern that has been formed wherein the first and the second candles high are lower than the third candles high and if the fourth if the highs of the fourth and the fifth candle are lower than the high of the third candle then only this signal will get generated i hope that is clear okay now let's explain it a bit more okay now this is how it works candle 1 candle 2 candle 3 candle 4 candle 5 high of the first and the second candle is lower than the high of the third candle 
high of the fourth and the fifth candle is lower than the third candle. So this is a fractal. Another scenario. First candle, second candle, third candle, fourth candle, fifth candle. Is this a fractal? Well, of course, yes. Why? Because the high of the first and the second candle are lower than the high of the third candle and the high of the fourth and the fifth candle are lower than the high of the third candle. So this, of course, is a fractal again. One more situation. First candle, second candle, third candle, fourth candle, fifth candle. Is this a fractal? Of course, yes. Why? Again, high of the first and the second candle are lower than the high of the third candle. High of the fourth and the fifth candle are lower than the high of the third candle. So, of course, this again is a fractal. So, these are some of the scenarios that might come across in the live market. Okay, because uh, it is important for me to explain this because if I just explain the first scenario, that is this one, then when you trade in the live market, if you get such candlestick formations, then you will be confused whether this is a fractal or not. Okay, so I hope the things are clear now. Okay, now moving on to the type of fractal. Okay, as you can see here, I have mentioned it to be a bearish fractal. So what is a bearish fractal? The bearish fractal tells us that the stock might go down further. But when we get a bearish fractal, the key point is you need to wait for the fifth candle to close. Right. So first candle, second candle, third candle, fourth candle, fifth candle. And as I said, you need to compare the highs of these candles and then you need to find whether it is a fractal or not. Right. So at the at the just a moment, guys. So sorry about it. OK, so by seeing the five candles formation, you will be able to say whether a fractal has been created or not. OK, now let's say that this is a bearish fractal that has been created. So whenever the fractal is being created like this, we expect the stock prices to be going down, remember. And whenever the fractal is created like this, we expect the stock prices to be going up like this. Now we will come to this scenario in a while. As of now, we are explaining this particular thing. OK, so by seeing the series of these five candles, you know that a bearish fractal has occurred on the chart. And after the closure of the fifth candle, only after the closure of the fifth candle, we expect the stock prices to be going down further. So if you want to take a sell trade, you initiate a sorry, a sell trade only after the closure of the fifth candle, not before the closure of the fifth candle. OK, so you initiate a sell trade here, put the stop loss at the swing highs a little above the swing highs. So the, here will be your stop loss somewhere. OK, and your target depends on multiple factors. But this is how you should be trading a bearish fractal. Clear now let's move on to a bullish fractal. OK, I have also drawn a bullish fractal here and the entire concept remains the same just that the things is uh, upside down here okay so here let me bring in the pen again the combination of five candlesticks make a bullish fractal and in this case the first candle's low and the second candle's low should be higher than the third candle's low and the fourth candle's low and the fifth candle's low should also be higher than the third candle's low so when you get this formation then you know that it is a bullish fractal that has occurred on the chart and what is the expectation the expectation is that after the closure of the fifth candle that is here the stock prices might go up further that is the expectation from the bullish fractal so how do you take a trade your entry will be just above the closure of the fifth candle here your stop loss will be somewhere down here 
just below the recent swing low and your target again depends on multiple factors but this is how you trade a bullish fractal so this will be your buying point this will be your entry point here will be your stop loss and your target depends on what approach you take i hope you're clear here Okay, I hope you are clear on what is a bearish fractal and what is a bullish fractal. Now, just to make our understanding a more bit clearer, let's try finding out some more fractals here. So, where do you see uh, the other fractals being formed? This is one place where I see it, right? Uh, this is a bearish fractal. The high of the first candle and the second candle are lower than the high of the third candle fourth candles and fourth candles high and the fifth candles high are also lower than the third can third candles high so this is a formation of a bearish fractal one more we have it here high of the second uh, first and the second are lower than the high of the third high of the fourth and fifth are lower than the high of the third so this also is a formation of a bearish fractal okay now here it is a bullish fractal the low first candle slow second candle slow is higher than the third candle slow fourth candle slow and fifth candle slow is higher than the third candle slow so here it is a bullish fractal so the more you practice the more you will get used to uh, finding out the fractal formations on the charts okay so i hope you're clear guys okay let's not take any further examples here uh, so i hope we are clear on this particular concept as to how to find whether a fractal has been formed on the chart or not and which is a bearish fractal and which one is a bullish fractal and how to trade the bullish and the bearish fractal i just told you where should be the entry point where should be the stop loss and where should be the target okay so that is one thing um, let me check if i'm missing on anything else uh, yeah, this arrow thing. Uh -huh. One more important thing is this arrow thing. As I said, I'm using an indicator that is helping me in finding the fractals on the charts. Okay. Now, the default color that has been set for that indicator is like this. Okay. So, when you see this uh, red arrow, don't think that uh, the stock should be going down. No, it, it's not the purpose of the red arrow here. Similarly, if you see a green or a blue arrow being formed here, that does not mean that the stock will be going up. It's just the color combination. If you want, you can change it. Okay. If you want them to be uh, colored uh, in a directional wise, then you can make this a green uh, triangle and you can make this a red triangle. So I just wanted to make sure that this thing is clear so that you don't take up or you don't get confused just by seeing the candles, uh, just by seeing the triangle colors okay so hope that is clear let me delete the drawing and let's get back to the presentation okay so herein i hope that you all are clear on the basic concept of fractals now moving on to the most important thing whether can fractals be used in day trading or not my blunt answer to this is a no fractals can never be used in day trading and the very reason why i am saying it is because you will get the fractal on the charts only post the fifth candle is closed okay so it might be the case that the fourth and the fifth candle have already given the up move or a down move that a day trader is looking for so if you initiate a trade post the fifth candle's closure then you can't expect the stock prices to be going in your anticipated direction. I mean, day trading is all about catching the right move at the right time. But here in fractals, we are knowingly avoiding the two candles, that is the fourth and the fifth candle, and waiting for the fifth candle to close and then confirm whether the fractal has occurred on the chart or not and then taking our entry post the closure of the fifth candle. Now, this don't seem to be valid to me. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, so if uh, I take you back to the chart here, so what exactly we are trying to do here is, uh, so let's take, for example, a bearish fractal has occurred on the chart. Okay, let's say this one. Okay, so candle one, candle two, candle three, candle four, and candle five. Okay, so now by seeing this we know that okay this is a bearish fractal and we can expect the stock prices to be going down post the closure of the fifth candle that is here 
Now, in this case, it did went down, but you cannot guarantee it in an intraday, right? Because you are missing this complete range, this to this. This whole range has been missed by you if you are waiting for the fifth candle to close, right? This range, this complete range is being missed by you. And one more thing to note here is on the top left corner, you see that the time frame that is being followed is a one day time frame. Okay, so this chart is a one day time frame, but things will be much difference, different when you convert it into a five minutes or a 15 minutes chart. As I said, by the time you wait for the fifth candle to close, it might be the case that this was the move that was actually expected by a day trader to be trading. And after this fifth candlestick closure, if you take a, a sell trade here, it might be the case that the stock started retracing again. And since your stop loss is here, it easily hits your stop loss. You never know, right? So that is why I am not in agreement to the fact that fractals can be used in trading uh, intraday. I hope I, I have made my point clear here. Okay, now let's get back to the presentation. Okay, so this was with perspective to intraday trading, but on the contrary, it works beautifully for swing trading and positional trading. So if you are planning to use fractals to trade, then please make sure that you are into swing trading or positional trading. And if you are into intraday trading, then please stay away from fractals. Okay, I mean, I got the whole intent of making this video when I saw numerous videos that were actually supporting using of fractals in day trading. And all of those videos were from the guys who don't trade in the Indian markets. So please don't get wrongly biased, guys. Okay, it's your hard-earned money that you are putting in on that you are putting on stake to earn more money out of it. So it also becomes your responsibility to know how exactly should a particular thing be used. Okay, and as always, our Indian market is absolutely different from the foreign markets. So be mindful about that. Okay, and let me quickly show you the indicator setting for fractals that can be used in a swing trading or in a positional trading. Okay. So let me delete all the drawings here. Okay. If you see here, I have uh, a technical indicator uh, added called fractals. How do I get it? Get it here. Go to indicators. Again, this is the trading view terminal that I use for my technical analysis. So click on indicators and just go for William. Okay, just type in Williams and this is the technical indicator. It is a built-in technical indicator that uh, TradingView provides. So click on Williams Fractal. It will get plotted here. Okay. And, okay, let me hide this. So Fractal, go to settings and the periods, by default, it will be two. So when the period is two, as you can see here, there is a lot, there are a lot of fractals that come into picture, right? See how many fractals are there. Almost every alternative candlestick is having a fractal. So do you really think that it is possible to trade this way? Obviously, the answer is no. So what you need to do here is change this periods to 20. Okay, and then you will see that most of the fractals got away. Okay, and we are left with very minimal number of fractals. So I use the number 20, even I have seen 19 to be working fine. So it's your wish, either you keep the periods for 19 or 20, both are fine. And as I told you, it is good for swing trading and positional trading. And for those kind of trading, normally we use or normally we uh, analyze the chart on a higher time frame. So in this case, as you can see, we already are in a one day time frame and see how beautifully the fractals are working. Okay. Uh, maybe you would like me to explain a bit uh, once again, so see, this is a bullish fractal, right? So how do we say that it is a bullish fractal? First candle slow, second candle slow, higher than the third candle slow, fourth candle slow, fifth candle slow is also higher than the third candle slow. So the fractal got formed at the third candle. 
and your entry will be after the fifth candle's closure somewhere here. So this is your entry, your stop loss will be somewhere here and you set a target depending on whatever approach you take. Okay, now similarly, a bearish fractal is happening here. How? First candle's high, second candle's high is lower than the third candle's high, fourth candle's high and fifth candle's high is also lower than the third candle's high. So this becomes a bearish fractal. So fifth candle's closure, you initiate a sell trade here, keep a stop loss somewhere here and target depends on you. Clear? So this is how beautifully it works on the higher time frame and for swing trading and positional trading. Hope that is clear, guys. Okay. Getting back to the presentation, let me check if I'm missing out on anything. Has been a quite big video. And by the time the guys would also be getting bored. Uh, just a moment. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'm not missing out on anything. So all these information should be good enough for you to understand what actually a fractal is and how to use them effectively. Okay. So I hope this video would surely contribute a bit towards your learning curve. And again, just to repeat, Everything that you see around has a purpose of itself. Okay, now as a trader, please make sure to find out what is the best way to use it and everything else should fall in place automatically. Okay, so that's all from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video, I have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video, the eye symbol that you see there. You can click on it and watch my previous video and as always, we request you all to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you might get some more information about HYIT that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and I will surely reply back to them and also please do not forget to like the video if you like. Okay, so it's all from my end. That's all from my end and I will see a lot later guys Hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye